Would you like to learn how to make a beautiful PDF document made with LaTeX containing mathematics or a related scientific document? Well, I'm going to show you how to do that with the help of Mathematica. So this is a Mathematica tutorial in which we're going to get Mathematica's help in producing a nice LaTeX document. Okay, let's get started. So here I've got Mathematica opened up and this says welcome that I've just typed in. And over here I have Windshell um, and MicTech. So this is Windshell and MicTech for producing a LaTeX document. I recommend this for beginners because it's got a lot of nice buttons uh, to help you when you're not feeling so creative. So if I, for example, press this alpha, alpha will appear there, right? Okay, so I'll get rid of that and talk to you. Okay, so let's think about it. What do we want to call this? Let's call our document um, test document. All right, and now I've got author and then make title. This is very simple. And then up here is the document class, begin document, end document. Okay, so this is about as simple as it gets. Now let's start writing. Uh, let's see, what are we going to write about? So, I love maths. Yeah. 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 Okay, and then let's suppose that we need some mathematics. So let's just build something really simply like, um, you know, E equals MC squared. All right, so there we have that. And now let's run this and turn it into a PDF file. Okay, so I will go up here to the button that I have uh, PDF LaTeX. And I'll select that. I usually press this button twice because when you have a more complicated document, it will need to run twice in order to make everything work together and get the right labels working. Press it again. Okay, now where does it appear? Well, it appears in the folder. I'll open up right here. This is the folder that I had that tech file in. Okay, and now in that same folder appeared the PDF document. So I'll open it now. All right, and this is what it looks like. So here is our title, here's the author name, and this is what we just wrote, and then this is the equation. Now to write this equation, you saw me put a dollar sign, and then I wrote the equation, and then I put a dollar sign, and then I put the full stop or period, as you might know it as. Okay, so let's close this and talk about Mathematica and how you can get Mathematica's help to uh, help you write some LaTeX. Okay, so let's add to this document, and I'll open up a Mathematica cell and let's suppose we wanted to write um, well, let's suppose we're doing a little calculation x squared plus 4y squared okay all squared and then you know blah 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 we calculate calculate let's do an expansion expand this okay and now we get a nice uh, algebraic expression so what if I select this right click copy as latex okay and then i come over here come down here and i'll paste control v all right so there is our mathematical expression um that we got in mathematica okay now it needs a dollar sign around it dollar sign and then uh dollar sign Okay, and then I can then compile this again. So PDF, LaTeX, then I'll go to the folder, open this up again, and there you see is our algebraic expression. Okay, well, to do that, you don't really need Mathematica to help you with that, but if your expressions are huge, then it's really helpful. Okay, and now I'll give you one of the most useful applications of using Mathematica to help you with your LaTeX documents is when you are constructing or need to write a matrix. All right, in LaTeX, that's a real pain. So let's go up here, insert, I'm in Mathematica, insert and table matrix, 
new. Okay, and then I'll, I've already got set uh, five rows and seven columns. So, sure, and then I'll fill the diagonal with ones. Okay, press okay. And then here is our matrix in Mathematica. Now, let's suppose we wanted this in LaTeX so that we could build a PDF from this. Okay, so I'll select copy as LaTeX, and then I'll come over here. And let's now suppose that instead of just the dollar sign, I want to write begin equation in case I need to put a label on this. Equation. Okay, and I'll put a star because I don't want a number just yet. End equation. Okay, and now I'll come up here and I'll look for a an uppercase Greek letter. Let's go for uppercase gamma. Okay, and then I'll put equals, and then I'm gonna go control V. All right, and have a look at this. Now you see we've got left, and then this left bracket, and then begin array, and then all of these C's for the columns, and then one and zero and zero and you know and so on. It's a lot. Like this would be a real pain to write out in LaTeX. So thank goodness we can construct this very easily with Mathematica. All right, so that's awesome. Now I'm going to put a full stop because that should be a full sentence. And let's compile this. PDF LaTeX. Okay, press it again. And I'll open this folder up and open up the PDF within it. Okay, and there you see we have it. Okay, so it can do all kinds of awesome typesetting for you when it's complicated, but one of the best uses is matrices and tables.